How's it going guys? This is Wash Graham from the Kickstation Support Discord and today we're going to talk about a few different Yeezy task setups using the checkout URL bank, uh, extra safe mode, and browser mode. And just a reminder that we have really detailed Google Doc uh, guides for all three of these features and you should definitely check them out in addition to watching this video. Uh, between both of those two uh, resources you should definitely be able to understand all of these topics uh, pretty clearly prior to the Yeezy drop. So to, to re-quote the Google Doc guide, uh, the, a checkout URL bank is basically another alternative to the generate checkout URL feature and it's a way that we developed to help users beat uh, the queue on Shopify sites uh, such as Easy Supply that can be really really long and be almost impossible to get past manually and this is a slightly different method to the gen checkout URL feature and an important note about this feature is that it is the only one that works for extra safe mode tasks so you can't use generate checkout url feature like you would do normally by right clicking a task on the dashboard uh, if you're in extra safe mode so that's why we suggest using this mode in combination with extra safe mode on sites like easy supply so if you want to start making tasks using url banks uh, the first thing you have to keep in mind is that these urls only last for a maximum of about six to seven hours and after that they won't work and the bot won't give you a response from the checkout url so if you're setting up for a surprise drop like on Yeezy Supply, you need to remember when you've made your URLs. So every six to seven hours, if you haven't used them on a drop yet, you should need to delete them and make new ones. So just something to keep in mind, uh, if you set up way far in advance, you might have to keep on redoing this process over and over again. But it's a very simple process as you'll see uh, right now. So first you have to pick a profile because they're profile specific. For this case, I'm just gonna use Gram CC. I'm just gonna name it CC. And for account login, you just select no because there's no account login needed. Uh, for lock IP, uh, for now, everybody should put no. This is a feature that we're not going to use yet. Uh, username and password fields are grayed out because we're not using a login. And then for proxy list, I'm just going to use all of my data center proxies. And then for quantity, I'm going to put five. And then after that, you can click generate, and then they'll start generating. An important note about the checkout URL generation process when it's going on is that it might actually take a decent amount of time. And this is due to a number of different factors, but you just need to be patient when your URLs are generating. So once they're done, it'll say finished here. It'll show all five have been generated. And you'll get another pop-up window saying generation done, please close window. So I'm going to click OK here. I'm going to click X out of this generator bank. And I'll see here that I have five of them. And so I named it CC. So they just got a one, two, three, four, five at the end. And that differentiates them. So these are all unique, but these can only be used with my profile gram CC here. So here you have an X that shows they're not IP locked and you have an X to show that they haven't been assigned to a task yet. And you can show, it shows what time they generated so you can time yourself sort of by going back and checking this. So I'm gonna click out of here right now and now I'm gonna start making some Yeezy Supply tasks with these URLs attached. So I'm gonna select Yeezy Supply here from my websites. I'm gonna use keywords. I'm just gonna use plus 350 for now. We'll, we'll give you more detailed keywords closer to the drop but for now I'm just gonna do 350. I'm gonna select all my proxies for monitoring, uh, any available. And then now I'm gonna go to the checkout URL bank. So the default mode right now for a UC supply is extra safe, and I'm gonna change the payment repetitions to 15, which is what we suggest everybody does. So now I'm gonna go to the checkout URL bank. So I'm gonna pick my first URL here, and you can see now that it auto assigned the profile to Gram CC, which means, which shows you that you can only use that profile on that task. So I'm, not, I'm gonna include a price check of 220, and then I'm gonna make 10 tasks here. And I'm gonna name them YS. So that'll save, and then when I go to my dashboard, you'll see that only one of them has the bank logo next to it, which means that that one has a URL assigned. And the reason why is that you can only assign that URL to one task, and then you can check this by going back to the URL bank here, and you can see that if you scroll all the way down to Easy Supply, there's a check mark next to this URL, which means it's been assigned. So the way to apply them next from here is to select, for this, an instance here is that I have four more URLs left. So I can select four more and then click assign URL bank and that'll assign them in order. So if I right click and click edit task, you'll see that the second one got assigned to the second task, the third one got assigned to the third task, etc., etc. But since I only have five URLs, I can't assign any more to these until I make more URLs. So once you've made your URLs and you know they're still valid because it's been more than or less than six or seven hours since you made them and you have them assigned to your tasks, you can basically keep them in this idle or stop position basically until Yeezy Supply goes live. Uh, you don't really need to start them uh, any earlier than around 10 to 15 seconds before the drop because similar to if you generate a checkout URL by right clicking here, 
uh, you be able to just start them immediately and not have to risk uh, getting stuck in queue. So there seems to be one main point of confusion regarding the uh, linking of a checkout URL to a specific profile, and that comes when you're uh, adding checkout URLs to tasks from the dashboard and they don't match up with the profile that you made a task for already. So in this case here, I still have my remaining five tasks that have this credit card profile on them. And I just made two new checkout URLs that use a different profile. So when I click assign URL bank here, it's gonna switch that to home privacy because that is the last URL that I made. I don't have any credit card URLs left. I only have home privacy URLs, which I just made two of. So if I select another one and click assign URL bank, it'll do the same. And so basically our suggestion here is that when you're making tasks for something like Yeezy Supply, you should make all of your URLs first with a wide variety of profiles, basically the ones you could see yourself using on Yeezy Supply. And then after that, make a bunch of tasks. And for those tasks though, you can just add all of the same profile to them. And then you can come to back to the dashboard and then mass add URLs based on the number of um, URLs you have. So if you know you have like 10 URLs for one profile, you can select 10 of them right off of there and then basically that will set the correct profile for you along with the URL. And that can save you a little bit of time in selecting specific tasks to have specific profiles on them in the first place. So the second new feature that we developed for this easy release is called browser mode. And it's pretty similar to other sites in TKS use browser mode, uh, where it's more of a manual checkout based method that opens a brand new browser on your bot instead of using auto checkout inside the bot. So here we're going to look at a task that I already started creating for Easy Supply using keyword sweater to pick up something random off the site. And all my other settings are basically pretty similar to a normal task, except for under mode, I'll click browser and payment rep repetitions up to 15. And for here, I can select a checkout URL. Uh, we definitely suggest that you use the URL bank feature in browser mode. For now, I'm using a test profile with a random card number, so I'm not going to use a checkout URL because I'm not going to make one for that card right now. So now that we have our browser mode task set up, I'm gonna go back to the dashboard and click start here. And so what that's gonna do is after checking stock, it's gonna open up a new window that popped up here on my other screen. So now it's loading the site, it goes to the product page, it carts it here, and then it goes to the first checkout step. And then from there, it'll say browser ready, and then this will be the screen that it shows you. So basically it'll fill your shipping info, but then it'll force you to go to payment method and go to the order summary yourself. And this is to prevent Shopify bans, which have been happening more recently at the checkout steps uh, due to what they assume is bot protection. And that's basically all you need for browser mode. It'll show a checkout and a webhook if you have the webhook set up, but that's about as far as the bot will go here. And from then on, you have to do a manual checkout. But yeah, it's a very simple method and we suggest doing it without proxies, doing it on your local host. As you can see, that was an instant uh, browser pop-up. And when you use proxies, sometimes you can wait up to 10 or 15 seconds for this to happen. Uh, so we suggest using your local host for this. So that's about it for browser mode and checkout URL bank. Uh, between this video and the Google Docs guides that I'll link in the description, you should have a pretty good idea of how to utilize these features for the upcoming Yeezy releases. And yeah, that's about it for this video. So if you have any other questions or comments, leave a like, subscribe, and tune in next time for more TKS informational content.